such a unique situation where the only real evidence that Stephen Mumel left in the crime scene was a virus that he had inside his own body. And then that virus was a fingerprint, if you will, that remained in these victims. But other than that virus, we would have no way of linking Stephen Mumel to this crime. In May 2011, Stephen Pumel was indicted by a federal grand jury on five counts of tampering with a consumer product, resulting in death or serious bodily injury, and five counts of obtaining a controlled substance by fraud. A year later, one week before the trial was scheduled to begin, Stephen Pumel pled guilty to all counts. He pled guilty and he pled without a plea agreement. It was a, a straight up guilty plea. And that meant that there was no agreement as to what sentence he would receive. That would be entirely up to Judge Howard, who sentenced him. He was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison. What did he say? Did he say anything? Was he apologetic? He was apologetic and his family, his mother spoke, sister spoke at his sentencing. 